Hi, I'm Farmer Cosette, Youth Facilitator with Wasatch Community Gardens. This week we are talking about the magic of nature. As you see, I've made my beautiful magical crown and I'm sitting out in my backyard enjoying the sound of the birds and the quiet over by my garden. Today I would like to share with you some of my favorite poems from its best loved poems book. It's been in my family for years and I like to go out and read the different poems when I'm feeling like connecting to nature. I'm just gonna share a couple with you today and I hope as you listen to them, you think about what poems connect you to nature or maybe have you thought of writing your own poem about nature? Maybe this will give you a few ideas. So before we get started, Take a nice deep breath. Get comfy, get and ready to enjoy the ride. The first poem that we're gonna read is called Forest Lullaby by Leona Stafford. The little bear baby is fast asleep, way back in a cave in the wood. Little bear baby played hard all day, hard as a baby bear could. He fished in a clear little stream for fish and tried to take honey from bees who gathered the nectar from clover fields to store in the hollows of trees. The little gray squirrels are fast asleep, way up in the oak tree high, dreaming and swinging in cozy beds to the tune of a wind lullaby. The bees are asleep on the honeycomb and the big gnarly knots of the yolk. The frogs are asleep on the banks of the stream, where in daylight they frolic and croak. But the forest still stirs in a quiet way, for possum and coons are abroad. The owls who use the nighttime to hunt and the daytime to slumber and nod. Hush, little boy, don't make any noise, lest you wake the baby bear, the bees, and all the wood creatures who sleep tonight in caves and hollows of trees. The coon is so quiet on fur and feet. The possum goes silently too. And the owl flaps his wings with a soundless swish as he softly calls, hoo, hoo, hoo. The next poem I'd like to read you is called Fairy and I by Marjorie Allen Anderson. We planted both our gardens, my fairy friend and I. I didn't really see her, but I knew she was close by. I hoed and raked my garden and made it soft and new, while near me in the bushes, I could hear her working too. And now our little gardens have suddenly sprung up in mine are tiny carrots, and in hers, a buttercup. Ooh, do you think fairies are in gardens? Have you ever heard one, seen their work? All right, last poem I'd like to share with you is called Boredom by Mildred Bowers Armstrong. I'm sure you've never felt this way. I can't blow bubbles, I haven't any pipes, I can't eat apples, they haven't turned ripe. If I sit quiet for an hour or two, will the fairy queen come and tell me what to do? Hmm, some fun poems to think about. Maybe you can come up with one of your own. I hope you enjoyed our story time. Until next time, enjoy the garden.